John didn't clean it properly. I told him he got to clean it. It's normal. It's all right. Well, I just thought because it was already well, sticky, that paper listen, was listen, on. Listen to your mother. Another week of John and Daniel vlogs. So why are you coughing? Because he was upstairs yesterday doing all the boards in preparation for the um, floor which is coming. I had the most peculiar dream last night. I'm going to share it with you. See if my dad can work out. Because usually there are hidden meetings within dreams. So I was laid in a hospital bed and the doctors told me I had no anus. And that is absolutely true. I was there thinking, well, how am I going to poo? And more importantly, it's like, where did my bum hole go? And apparently they said that because I haven't used it for such a long time, it just like closed up. And I'm thinking, I'm full of shit. What am I going to do? I was panicking. So apparently they had to do a little operation, which I was waiting for to recreate my bum hole, mum. I'm going to pop to the supermarket, the local supermarket, to get some ingredients for a curry for my father. So I don't know if he wants to eat it today, he probably doesn't want to because he bought some lovely steak. However, I'm going to make it for him and then I can save it, you know, and then he can just heat it up. But I hope he enjoys it. I might moan about it, I'm going to make it really extra spicy for him. Managed to find fresh garlic and fresh coriander. <laughs> so I made my famous cream. My dad's never tried it before. I don't even know if he's gonna know it. I like it, sorry. Thank you, son. You're welcome, Dad. Let's try it. Try it. Chicken. See, that's the kind of response. Let me just try it again. Dad, how's the curry? It's what Norman meant. How's the curry, Dad? It'll do. That's, see, and see, that could mean a wide range of anything. You just have to kind of like guess. You have to look deep into his eyes, read his soul, and find out if he actually likes it. He's just eating it because it's in front of him. Did a good job with the floor. Mm -hmm. mm, it's okay. Yeah, it's in keeping. It looks good. It's yeah. But you do realise you've got a lampshade, what you need to dispose of. And it just happens to be the exact one which I need. Yeah, I'm pretty high bedroom. Are you? Oh no. You can have a smaller one. I won't mind if you're gonna get if you get any of them. I won't mind because the only one I've got missing is in the hallway. No, no, no. Yeah, can I have it? Yeah, I think it'll be nice. Yeah, it works, mum. Just with the styling, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. I've been told to eat more, so I'm gonna have this bad boy for breakfast. <laughs> I think I'm happy with this. <laughs> I only could manage one of the steaks too much. I'm full. I've been an hour and a half dealing with HMR revenue and customs because they're charging me a thousand seven hundred pounds for a tax return in 2015 which it shouldn't happen because I, I haven't been self-employed at the time and I didn't even know that I had to file the tax so now everything is sorted but it's been an hour and a half on the phone being passed like a football from one department to another and waiting on the phone and listening to that horrible music that gives me anxiety but everything's sorted now and i'm happy they got rid of it 1700 pounds okay now for no reason anyhow <laughs> see you 
29. She keeps calling Jack Bell. I mean, she must have, she said, is this blanket all right for our Bell? I'm like, it would be, but she's dead. And I should just say, if Bell gives birth over Christmas, oh, she don't give birth over Christmas, so you're going to come down? I'm like, I don't like that, you know? You yeah, but she's dead. She's not gonna have babies. And she said hysterectomy. It's a double whammy. Hysterectomy, dead. Doesn't work. No babies. Katie. You don't grind his hand, does it? Really, I've been hysterectomy, dead. Well, that, <laughs> not, not, not unless you're very unlucky. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad, you know. Small, and you're like extra small. Large. <laughs> Why? Because I'm fat. <laughs> I think I need to buy um, maybe a pair of pants. What do you think? Some striped ones. Mum? Yeah. Can't believe you should need that coat. I could have paid for it. Oh, it's so bad. I've <laughs> <laughs> got my stick. Like an old man now. Yeah. Bollocks. Yeah, you use a stick. <laughs> and I've just found in Morrison's, you know, we've got that. So these are anchovies and this is really heavy. And if I'm not mistaken, I just taken all of them. And it said two pounds apart. That's really cheap. My leg is so bad today. But look what I found. This is called Red X. It's not like I'm trying to promote it, but I went around to my brother and I said, Richard, will Red X do anything for my turbo? And he said, no. So, shit. So he said, I still need to get another one. But I have read that it might help. And some people online said that it could be clogged up. So I'm gonna throw that in, put it into the petrol. It cleans out all the stuff, apparently. Whatever stuff that is, like corrosion, who knows? Turn, <laughs> turn, give me the turn around. Jack, Ow! It's good, isn't it? Turn around. <laughs> that's a whole idea. Well, I've been asked to eat more food, and that's why I'm exactly doing. I'm eating a lot of food, and if I get fat, it's Francesco's problem. Teresa, what are you doing? What are you eating, Daniel? Well, I've been told to eat a lot of food, so that's why I'm doing. Yeah, I think your uh, fitness instructor is going to be proud of you. I'm going to be so fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> this is what you get with grannies and grandpas. It's just like sitting here watching CSI every night. Every time I come to CSI, I never ever watch it. I don't, honestly. <laughs> Couldn't have got a bed. Where's your safety pin on the bed? Oh, safety pin on the bed. Don't know. Don't know. I think it might have been from Jack. She keeps, still keeps calling Jack Bell. He's been coughing all night. He was down on the sofa, like on laying there until seven, five o'clock in the morning, was it? And he was really, really bad. Anyway, mum's actually in the kitchen now. And she's trying to get the blood, you know, the dog period blood. Oh, look, let me do my hair. <laughs> We're going to do it in a minute. We're going to colour it. Well, I'm going to colour it. I'm going to put in a nice blonde. I could do with that on mine, couldn't I? You look like an old wisher woman. <laughs> I am an old wisher woman. In summer, I went over to my Auntie Debbie's and she gave me some pumpkins as a little surprise for our dad. And look, look how big they are. Fantastic plant. Grow like the clappers. We never knew how to fertilize them. We learnt and learnt. You have a male and a female and you have to fertilize it yourself. Hurts your knees, but it's great. Look at results. Five, five beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fruits. Lovely. Thanks, Debbie. Kathleen's been running around and she's tidied up. She's done everything for me, Dad, because I oh, you can see my dad's really active today. 
it did he knock yourself up by oh, doing that yeah. bedroom? I know, oh, I know, God, I explained to you already. Um, coughing really bad. All right, Dad, catch you later. All right, mate, oh. don't catch you. Go on, go and enjoy yourself. Love you. Hello, I miss you. It doesn't matter. You come with me. Right, we're off. My mum's got a banana in her mouth. I haven't met it. I've just gone. God, that was quick. The only mini one. <laughs> She's getting old now. She can only manage a small one. The way she gets full. Is that right? Yeah. Because I'm so slim. <laughs> My stomach's strong now. We're going. We've got to go to Luton because we've got to pay the deposit for the storage which Daniel found for the caravan. Wait, honestly, it's amazing. I'm so happy you found it. It just means getting the caravan and going around the M25, which is a bit of a pain, but at least we're in storage the whole of the winter season. Jack's breathing in my face. What's it smell like? Dog. I can smell, it smells very nice, actually, I think. It, you get excited, Jack. Is she, is she smelling doggy? Yeah. We're almost there. Um, we're going to go straight to Tesco's. Um, get a couple of bags. It's this nice weather now as well. You know, it's supposed to be thunderstorms, but it's actually like Jack's wagging a tail. She's excited. Mum's wagging a tail. She's excited as well. A nice trip. It stinks in here. Oh, how lovely. Yes, we're back in the caravan and we. Um, I'm just sorting it out. Like you actually won't take long, you know, just a few bits. Thing is about a caravan because it's so small, you've got to find places for things to be. Um, but you know, we're smart people, we can figure this out. Oh, we're putting the curtains up. The eyes made that look so fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> such a crap seamstress. I think they look wonderful. <laughs> look. There's a couple of the things that I've broken at the top, which um, I think I've got some spare ones, the hook things, but they look great. Look, look at them with this material. I think they look fabulous. I think we've actually done an okay job. I mean, we've still got all the thick, all, all the kind of like decor to do, but it kind of gives the impression it's just lifted it up a lot more. You know, I'm going to be happy using this next year. Thank you, Kathleen. You're welcome, sir. A lazy bitch. I'm here slaving over an electric walk and she's there laid in bed. Do you know what she's doing? She's just playing games. I'm not doing the emails from today. Shh! Trying to paint her out as a bad mum. There you go, Catalina. That looks wonderful, thank you, my darling. No garlic, no chilli, no spice. No <laughs> Sorry, no dinner, I'll take that back. <laughs> Can you believe it? My mum stole my bed. I'm having to get on the couch. Look, I'm sleeping on the couch. The dog, she's not the dog on there. She said, just piss off. Leave me alone. <laughs> Check. <laughs> oh, I've got something in my eye. <laughs> oh, right. I'm on holiday. We're going to the beach. We are. And it's a bit muggy, but... And it's horrible weather and I don't care. <laughs> and the paddling me well is. <laughs> but Jack, I mean, Jack needs it. I mean, I'm going to go for a swim, Mum. Absolutely. Because in England, that's what we do. We make sure that the weather is at least below freezing. And then, oh God, this guy's in his dressing gown. What the hell? Oh. Can't even get it in the old. Look at that. What is wrong with her? I think when you're that age, all your motor functions just go. That's it. <laughs> it's all over the place. You can't aim it right. That bloke down there, I, didn't, I couldn't film it because I felt bad about turning the camera towards him. He was like, there with his big belly, because that's the first thing you know. Your mum said, Does he have any pants on? I said, I was looking at his belly. I think because in, in the UK, especially in the north, a place called Doncaster, it's actually this fattest place in the UK. But I think they're creeping down here. Oh, look, she's got a water ready. Oh, how lovely. I don't know if I've taken my mum to Climping, but that's where we're headed right now. And I wanted to show her this um, beach just because of how it stands with all the 
um, broken sea barriers and the way it's laid out. It's very, um, I don't know, Thailand, Thailand esque in my mind, even though it's a bit of a shit hole. But I do like it here. And the dog certainly does. She's going crazy in the back. Look at that tail. Wag, 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 wag. And she hasn't shut up. Talking about you, Cal. Right, no, I'm going to be wagging tail. I don't shut up. You don't shut up. <laughs> I'm really glad you did your hair this morning, Mum. So nice. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's my windswept and interesting look. Well, it's windswept. We've decided to take Mummy to Bob Norwegian because she's never been here before. We've been here a few times, but it's wet, and I know, well, I'm pretty sure all the amusements and all the rides will have gone off the promenade at the front of the beach every time. Well, I'm not bothered about that. Actually. You know, I thought you were just going to Walter again. I like Walter. You know, I'd um, sort your hair out. <laughs> and this is Bob's Beach Beach. When it starts getting a bit chilly and windy, not very nice at all. Nobody's here, everything's closed down. <sighs> Don't blame them, it's horrible. Well, still got a petrol shortage because stupid people keep buying petrol when they don't need to. Um, but we're gonna queue up in this little queue at Sainsbury's because I'm on red. Because my mum is a traditional lass, we're gonna have bangers and mash. It is actually one of my favorite meals. I don't know, do you actually eat it? Yeah, oh, okay, I don't know. Yeah, I know she cooked it at home. So the idea is we're gonna make some mashed potatoes all in one single pan, because as you know, I like making one pan dishes in the caravan. Um, and then I'm gonna cook the mashed potatoes, mash them, I'm gonna do it with fresh barsley, barsley, I don't know what barsley is, basil, salt, a little bit of pepper, cream and butter. But and then I'm gonna be putting that in the microwave, waiting for me to do the sausage and mash, which is just basically lightly fried sausages after First of all, you've got to do the onions, and you put the sausages in, and then you add gravy, and you just make a big stodgy meal like that. And if you listen, you can hear the rain in the caravan, so it's nice and caravan-y weather stodginess. I'm showing some buttons on your cushion covers. Why? Because you asked me to. <laughs> and you put the needle in my hand and said, do this or you can't have any dinner. <laughs> Well, I bet you do because I'm What we decided to do, because the cushions are quite plain, we thought we can make it fun. So on the opposite side, put two buttons on so that we can kind of like mix and match. And I think it looks fun. And we're also going to use these big Jabberwocky colour buttons, which I love, to put on the underside of the sofa when we put the normal buttons on, you know, the fabric covered buttons. So you turn it over, you know which one's the back and which one's the front, but more importantly, it's so the other buttons don't pull out, which are at the top. You can't. No. No, it does, but it, it doesn't kind of work like that because the seats go like, you've got, yeah, it's shaped. There you go, Katie. <laughs> Is it all right? <laughs> Put the buttons back in. And we actually have some, these buttons, what we've got here, are slightly lighter than this material. Ooh. So we're gonna put those on. And then on the underneath, we're gonna put some of these, just for fun. So again, if you wanna turn it the other way around, we can. Oh my God. Got some pliers. Got some pliers. Yeah, they look fun, Mum. Wasn't fun to do them. <laughs> the hands are really nasty. And then we'll flip it over. So that's like the fun side of the underneath side. And then we flip it over, then that's how it looks. So I think it gives it much more structure. 
you know, it looks a lot, I, I actually think it looks a lot better like that rather than just plain. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted. My mum kept me up and she was not on a film for her, another film. What were the films? The first one was uh, Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp and the second was one was Doctor Sleep, you know, the second part of The Shining. It's not very good. It's all I don't know, bitty, there's too much going on with it, but I don't know. Oh, get off the bed. Off the bed, off the bed, off the bed. Oh, I forgot about her. With a big bleeding fanny. Let me put your pants on. All right. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, Mum. Good morning, sweetheart. Thank oh, you, Rick. Omelette. You Just touch a light kit. A little bit of salt, very little pepper, no salt, no herbs, no spices, and no eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Where would you like to go today? Blackpool. Blackpool. Let's <laughs> start now then. How do I know? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to go to a beach or a forest or? Well, I'm anywhere, love. I'm, I'm quite happy just to be out with you. I'm just thinking that maybe we should go. Because okay, I, I, when I'm here by myself, as you know, I always go to Goring um, or Worthing Beach, let's say. Do that then. No, because I always do that. I know where we can go. I'm gonna head towards. Sometimes. Sorry? Sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna head towards Brighton and stop off around one of those beaches. We're going to Devil's Dyke. We've been here many times before. We're going to Devil's. Sure, <laughs> We're going to Devil's Dyke. We've been here quite a few times before, but Kathleen hasn't seen it, so we're going to drive her over and throw her off the end. I'm See, not she flies. Oh, you're Mary Poppins' umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame, you know, we just tried to put some money in the parking meter, get spitting it out. So I'm, I'm always nervous. So we did this the last time. Because if anybody goes and gives us a ticket, but not think they will. Because it was broken, you know? But then, we didn't put a sign on the car, but we did put a sign on the car. But because the top time, somebody's nicked the sign. That's why we haven't paid. See, it's all sorted. I've just decided to, well, we decided to follow where the sea is and the closest, I thought it was sure it's not, actually Hove. So we're going to have a look. I don't, I don't think that I've actually been to Hove myself. I mean, I must have, I must have driven through it, but I'm gonna go and see if I can remind myself of it. And I know you've never been. So oh, we're having an adventure. Having an adventure in Hove. It's peculiar, I don't think I've ever been here. I don't recognize this street. And this is Hove, as far as I believe. They didn't actually say Hove on anything so far. We still haven't found any water, we're just driving around. Hove and Port Slave. Oh, it is hot, yeah, we are in Hove. Cool. It's quite a large, uh, it actually, is, but it's reminiscent of London or actually Oxford. Brighton, you know? I just didn't think about it before. Uh, we decided to take a break. So we decided on this little kind of cafe-esque kind of thing. Very typical seaside resort place. Like tea. English tea. English tea. Mum has a cup of English tea. And then um, it's like cut off from the breeze, which is quite nice. Have the ears, got the tinnitus when the, when the wind hits. So I just, some, some noises over there, it's really rude, especially when I'm talking to you, I'm sorry. But anyway, we're gonna enjoy a nice beef burger. Very typical, you see it on the coastline. You remember the, um, 
it's weird because the chips are always done in a certain type of oil on there. They're nice, but they could be overdone, you know? I don't know, I think they're all standardised, aren't they? Are they? It's cheap. I think they're cheap. You know, get at the local cash and carry, what have you. But it, trust me, it is nice. Yeah, it is. Do all of that beading or what do you call it? What do you call it? That trim. On oh, the sticky back plastic. Yeah. You know, this has already been done. I've just ripped them all off because they were he crap. Did it wrong and he's not very good at it. No, it's because I didn't look like I did do it wrong. I do, well, the thing is, I don't know if there was a way of doing it right with that stuff. But this stuff, which we've got now, is it looks like wrapping paper. <laughs> I just hope that it looks okay because if you look there. I took the old one off, it just ripped off. That is so much better than the silver. There's a few imperfections up here. I think it's because we didn't clean it properly. Because John didn't clean it properly. I told him we got to clean it. It's normal, it's all right. Well, I just thought because it was already well, sticky, that paper listen, was listen, on. Listen to your mother. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. We've done nearly all of it, nearly all of it. We've got a little bit of snagging to do because it, for some reason it didn't take and stick down on this little lip thing there very well and also these corners but I think we've devised a way by making a template out of frog tape where we can um, sort it out. I'm going to do it tomorrow you know. We've done enough today, I've done all of them. Look, even the bedroom. Can't see very well. I can't see well at all. Oh, oh bedroom. So much better. But the headboard needs to be done so we can do Still got a bit to do on the buttons as well. My mum up these more. She's been really lazy. Actually, she's been there. She's been playing a game, been playing with a dog, and she's been sticking pieces of plastic to me. That's what she's been doing when I've been working hard to entertain herself. Have I got one on? She just keeps putting them on me. <laughs> I'm just about to prepare a beautiful dish for Mama. And we're doing chicken, leek, onion, and mushrooms in a cream sauce with a little bit of rice. It will be lovely. And it will be, don't worry, Mum, it'll be plain and boring. Just like her. This has been turned off now, and I'm going to transfer this into some of these bowls. I'm still cooking this with cream. Cream goes in right at the end, but I've got to cook the rice first. So I empty out the water, which is cooked in, which actually tastes really nice, but I don't want it all that. I want more of the more of the creamy taste. And then we'll get the rice done. And then for the last two minutes, we put the stuff back in, heat it with the cream. Let me get on with that. I've turned down the heat slightly in the pan. And I've just splashed rice all over the back. So now, we're going to put the veg and the chicken back in here. Right, so I'll get you tickets, yeah? Yeah, get you tickets. She's going back on Thursday. So we're going to travel back to London on Wednesday. And then I'm just going to pop in the cream. Yeah. yeah. Voila, Mama. Hmm? Tell them well. You're wonderful. Eh? Where's my wallet? I don't even know it's a portfolio in front of her. She's just getting older. It's a bit senile. There you go. Found it, look. <laughs> Congrats. Let's book the ticket. Congratulations, Mum. Done it all on you. Well done. <laughs> Looks beautiful, darling. Mm, really good. Right, Jack. Do you think you might like a pie? It's a beautiful apple pie. Shouldn't be having it really. Well, because you've been a good girl. Would you like a little piece of pie? Try a little piece first if you like it. Is it nice? Yeah? <laughs> okay. right, let's have a bite. A little bite. 
I say tentacle girl. Bye for bye. Got some fingers. Right, take that little bit off here that's falling. That's it, good girl. Don't have to chew it. Watch my fingers. That's a little bit up here, look. Watch it, see Come on up here. That's a little bit up here, look. All right, see ya. So thank you, Bumble. No, thank you. Mum's trying to pi apply eye drops because she says the eye drops taste horrible. There you go. I'm back here. You can taste your throat. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night, baby. Good night. Sleep well, Mum. I will. See you in the morning. Uh, good night. Be careful with those, Kath. They were really expensive. Just when you dry them, can you just make sure you do like five strokes? Up of, that's it. Rub it properly. That's it. <laughs> Can you see your face in it? <laughs> we had cheese toasty this morning. It's going to rain in a few hours. And um, she said, Oh, I'm not going out if it's raining. I said, It's not raining. It's not raining. It was raining a little bit. But we're going to go out for a couple of hours. And then I want Jack to enjoy the water. Like, bring it back and then we can have a shower with her. But she hasn't really been in the sea. Maybe she doesn't want to come to the sea. You have not. I have, I've got all my jeans wet yesterday. Oh, she did, you can see that. Yesterday, a great big wave came in, it went into her shoes. Only one of my shoes. It's not very good, you know, it's like kind of spotting with rain. We've got to make the most of it. We're not staying in the caravan all day. I think she would. She's like desperate to get those buttons on that other car. Why? Because one people like still and I can really like so I have to think about it. I've been thinking about it all day while I'm at the door. No, you won't. Will you? Yeah, but I'm arranging it because it makes more sense to go out while it's not raining. It is raining. Oh, hey, it's going to stop in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Timing it. We've got two weather apps and I'm using one and Mum's using another. And it's raining all day according to the moment. Yeah, it, they're both different, so not very reliable. So we're going to pick the one that's got the best weather. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> What was it like when you were pushing me out? Oh. What's the hit? Do you remember it? Oh. Was our beautiful baby? Yeah. Why? Why was that? Why? 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 Was I? I feel like that most mornings now. Not like that most mornings. Covered in slime. I don't know. I got probably from Dax Fanny. Just a slammer. Is that what? But I am your best son, aren't I? No. <laughs> I'm the most beautiful oh, yeah. and the most intelligent. Absolutely not. It's true, I am. I know I am. I'm just perfect. <laughs> so you can't really ask a mum to say which one's your favourite. That's the thing. Because mums don't have favourites. <laughs> just walking out. Oh, the only thing I'm going to have to do today is take Sunny for a walk because um, the neighbours are working and that's it. Oh, Sunny. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, my God. He's literally eating all the books, all the DVDs. It's a mess. I guess one more thing that I need to do is clean this mess that the pigeons have done because it's disgusting. Hey, son. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You a good boy? You are a good boy. 
You are you are good boy. You are a good boy. Ah, ah, ah. You're a good boy. <laughs> oh, oh. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Fitch. We are finishing it off. Well, sort of finishing off anyway. My mum's to look at these buttons. Aren't they cute? So we put one of these little oh, bright buttons. No, I know, but I mean, I'm just um, showing how far we've got. And um, these corner things here actually have been a pain because I've had to create a template for them to go around that frog tape. But look, it's going on, it's okay. We've got two more last bits to do there. Then I've got to do something in the bathroom and then I'm just gonna <sighs> snag. Oh shit, the cushions in there. Yeah, I forgot because this needs to be done. Um, with the buttons on the headboard as well. See, I'm wishing for you, I can't do this while you're doing that. Oh, below, she's so impatient. I was searching online to find out how to recover this headboard. And first of all, I was thinking, how do I get it on? And then I found out. So what you do, it's really complicated. Watch. Boop. <laughs> it literally lifts off and it's held on by those, slot straight in. So we've got some cover. Uh, one's put a staple gun and we're just gonna cut round it and cover it up. This is so tight. Look, the length we've just got enough to put round it oh, and hold on to it. Just enough. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, just enough. We've done that end just there and look at this. How weird is this? We've been doing the wrong end. You'd think that you impress it, it comes out of there. It doesn't, it actually comes out of there. No, no, right. No, is that the up, wrong up, end? Up here. No. There. there. Even though you couldn't see this headboard when the bed's up, because it's up all day. What the hell? Oh, I can go. I can get that. I can hide. I'll take that off, actually. There we go. Mom! <laughs> I said that might happen. <laughs> oh, shit. Yay! How nice is that? So much better. Much more modern. It works. <laughs> it's taken a long time, you know, but it's almost done. And all the details, what we've done, we spent a lot of time on it. We've got to go back round, but all this has been recoated. I spent a lot of time on it, so it looks really cool. Get off! Oh my God, we haven't scotch guarded this. So all this has been covered. As you know, the buttons have been put in by my mom on both sides. And what's really cool is obviously the buttons, what we've got everywhere, and even look on the photo frame. But what I love is this. Underneath, can you see? We've got those coloured buttons underneath as well, so they're hidden. But if you really wanted to, you could turn it round and have the coloured buttons at the top as well. I'm so happy, thanks, Mark. Really, I, 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 I would have... I just wouldn't have. It's taken a long, long time, hasn't it? And it was quite expensive. I've never sewn as many buttons on in my life. And they were really hard as well, they're really hard. This bit, we've covered the headboard, as you know. We've just got to wait I'll go all, all the way round the edge. I've actually sealed it with grey silicone sealant so any imperfections which I made when putting the wood down they are now all sorted oh, and I'm gonna get a few little pictures probably grey pictures like this one and just put buttons you know I'm gonna make it look beautiful who wants to buy fish and chips so I've ordered burger just want a burger I'm starving so happy we've got that caravan done. It's like a huge weight off my mind. A few little bits, but you know, it's perfect. Burger and chips, scampi and chips, curry sauce and peas. And look at the waste here. All this paper. Absolutely ridiculous amount of waste. They could have done it in quarter of what they need. A separate piece of paper and separate packaging for every item. Not necessary. It makes so much waste and costs so much extra money when it's just not necessary, really. It annoys me. It annoys her. It does annoy me, yes. Slept so bad last night. It just started 
pouring it down with rain and I woke up, just had a massive poo this morning at half past seven and now I am empty. If you look to my belly, you'd say, no you're not, stop eating for at least a month, but I am empty. So I need to eat, so I'm gonna have leftovers. Well, I'm having left these leftovers because they were really nice and I'm making mummy baking sandwich because I don't think she's a leftover person, are you? No, she's not. <laughs> we are, we're preparing some food. Oh, that looks nice, man. And guess what? Sandwiches with a minions box. I've been wanting, do you know what? I've had this for three years. It probably stinks inside. Don't care, the sandwiches are going in it. <laughs> do you want the sandwiches out of that box? No, thank you. Bit of green mold in there. It's been lovely. I know I've been a few times, don't care. I'm gonna show you a different part of this. Mummy hasn't seen that. Oh, we're going to West Tittering, where you have to get your tits out, Kathleen. Is it all right? No, it's too cold. <laughs> Only from May to September, it's October now, no? Because this is what happens. In the UK, it's so important, we have to get a tits out, hence, you know, follow Sarah on here. So my mum usually does it, but she does it off camera because there's a law in England to set anybody with big glasses just can't do it. Is that not true, Mum? Absolutely. <laughs> You're a crappy <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what have you done today, Sania? Again? What's this? Hmm? <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. You destroyed the house again. Sunny. <laughs> you destroyed the house again. So go poo poo. Come on. Let's go. Well, little Sunny has destroyed their house again. <laughs> uh, it's a mess. Trying to bite me? Huh? You trying to bite me? Mm. <laughs> I just washed that and now um, mm, the war with pigeons have really started so I bought some anti-pigeon spice let me see sheds off the ground and made it look like where they can go where the water can escape so they don't get completely destroyed. But they're not gonna last forever, they're gonna get knackered. I would not want to have one of these right here, really no way. I got up so early, I was awake from 7 o'clock, but now I'm just gonna go back. I In 0.1 miles, at the roundabout, take the second exit. 
I, we called my dad's voice on Waze, so he gives us directions everywhere. You have no idea. At the roundabout, How annoying it is. take the second exit. Shut up! I don't know, I'm so tired. I, just, I think we almost just said that. We've had quite a busy week. We have a lot of fresh air, but I feel a bit fluey now, you know? Nose is blocked up and been sneezing last night. But we're gonna go to sleep because tomorrow we're gonna have a steady morning packing up and um, getting ready to go back to London. And Daniel cleaned up, which is really nice. He probably filmed it because it's a novelty for him. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Good night, Kathleen. Good night. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. I always wake her up. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Are you ready, Kathleen? Not quite. Get your makeup on, let's go. We're gonna to go to the beach. Take, oh, did you, did you, did your ears prick up when I said beach? Maybe she didn't know that word. She knows walk, and walk is, and ball. Do you know beach? Well, her ears did prick up. We're gonna to go to the beach, and then we're gonna come back. I've stripped the bed, oh, just, I've stripped the bedding ready to take back so we'll go there then we'll come back here then we'll clean up and then we'll go we can't go in the morning because i don't want to hit traffic oh, last day here i don't care usually i'm nervous about getting back as you know but today i mean because i'm going back with mummy and mummy said that she's going to wallpaper in my bedroom for me no it's just to do that <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. I wouldn't you do made, it. You made me make the curtains. So all the you offered three, to do that. 3,000 buttons on. You, and you. now he's making me wallpaper's bedroom for the I wouldn't do that. But I am interested to find out how this, how this um, material's going to look, wallpaper's going to look, in the bedroom, I have to say. But what I'm thinking is, if I paper enough, Jack, we're going to be there soon. If I do paper the bedroom, you know, I'm gonna be thinking, I need to paint. You know, I might be worth just painting before I put it on there. So I certainly don't want to paint. I'm not painting as well. What? I'm painting, no, I'm not painting. I ain't got time though. I know, I know. But the bed, bathroom, uh, lounge absolutely needs doing that wallpaper's hanging, literally hanging up. <laughs> Here, it's actually making me sweat. Oh, I could just sleep here for a few hours, but we can't. We've got to pack up and come back. Oh my god, my mum's gone to watch Jack's bandana. Still wonder, is she pregnant? There's no way of finding out. It's like 30 something days, and then you can get a scan. But you know, you're gonna be able to see her getting fatter, I should imagine, or maybe her temperature, temperature, temperament will change slightly. Who knows? But you should be able to tell. I'm just going to stay here for a while. Oh, it's hot. All packed up. Oh, God, look at that. Mum, your art is massive. It's absolutely huge. I don't care. Does that have its own postcode? <laughs> I've never seen anything as big in my life. <laughs> We've done now. That's it. Mum's just um, scrubbing. Floor. I don't know why she, but well, I actually came in to do it as well, just getting the bother bits from the floor. So it's probably the tidiest, well not tidiest, but it's the cleanest it's been since I've left it before. And the cleanest, if you think about the cushion covers as well. How's your legs, Katie? <laughs> right, we're off, back to London. Oh. 
we've just arrived in Putney, we've got my glasses on because it's very bright. Um, and I think we're going to go out for a meal tonight because we haven't been anywhere for a meal, have we? Oh, who's that? Is that Daddy? That should be Granddad. She's been trying to drop in on him, on Alexa. <laughs> now we can hear the television noise. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Daddy. Did you all it? Yes, all the time. How are you? Everyone's here to welcome us back, including Daniel, Dalma, and Sonny. Oh. Shout out. Shite meaning. Jack, Daniel. Oh, he always grabs the dog. He gets too excited when she's back. Oh. Uh, you stay there, Jack. She absolutely stick. No, 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 she can been smelling like fish for about three days and then today she went in the water completely and all the water was churned up so now she smells like fish fish no she doesn't she smells like head and shoulders are you a good head and shoulders girl yeah here 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 no hug 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 i missed you hug hug oh, oh. Yes. bye john <laughs> I miss you, Jack. Good. oh she's still wet She's just a bit damp. Such lazy dryer. Hey, listen, she's brushed, she's washed. Jack, kiss. I miss her. The only thing I miss. Daniel, I wasn't in bed with you. I was out cooking, cleaning up all the crap which you thought you cleaned up. Was it nice clean? Ooh. Yeah, but she doesn't know. But the house was, was like, wonderful when this, I was The house was so clean. It really that... wasn't. No, just... This is what happens. She's just had a cataract operation. Yeah, no, I haven't. Perfect. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> John, not. you Whoa. need a mouth fucking liberation. Seriously, you need to stitch it. Why is your beard ginger, Daniel? Why have you got a ginger beard and your eyebrows are dark? I should what give... is going on with that? I should not have given you vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Oh, somebody's had her hair done. So we look very sexy. Very nice. Oh wow! Coloured, cut, glossed, conditioned. And me. Wow! And me. Everything. Wow! It looks amazing. Looks so good. It really does. Let's see. I wanted some. Lines like a grey, silver. Yeah, well, I said I would look like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you, no, I no, no, it looks good. Oh, my old brother's laid down there. I've got my new boyfriend. My new boyfriend. <laughs> what do you mean, new boyfriend? It's that it's the old one. He's in the other room. Yeah, go on. You carry on watching this movie. We, she's watching Raja, the last dragon. Raya. Raya. And I've got my little beautiful Albanian boyfriend here, look. Say hello, Daniel. Say goodnight, Daniel. Goodnight, I'm going to say goodnight, but... I'm busy, I'm busy watching. Hey, everyone's watching TV, movies, whatever. It's the end of the week, and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this video right until this point. If you have and you haven't subscribed, please remember to press that subscribe button and hit that like button and press any button you want. But I'll see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Good night.